Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. Today is nice and short and it's perfect for just before bed, if you're sitting, you're watching TV or something like that, you just wanna have a little bit of a stretch before uh, turning in. Let's make a start. Let's start in a cross-legged position. So I'm just gonna mirror you, so have your right leg in front here and place the hands lightly onto the knees. And we're gonna just start with some uh, cat cows here in our seated position. You know, holding onto your knees, you're gonna draw the tips of the shoulders back, draw the chest forward, lift the eyes, take an inhale, and then exhale. Tuck the chin in, draw the belly button in. And again, inhale, chest drawing forward, elbows in, and then exhale. And again, inhaling, chest forward, and exhale. And then coming back to center here, hands down by your side, take an inhale to lengthen up, and then exhale, walk your hands forward. Press those sitting bones back, feeling long through both sides of the waist. Just actively lengthen and slow down the breath. Walk your hands back up halfway if you're a little bit further down, you might already be here. And then start to walk the hands around towards that left knee. You just take another inhale to lengthen forward and then exhale, walking yourself back out again. Pressing that right sitting bone down. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then walking the hands back to center, just extend them forward one more time. Maybe you feel like there's a bit more space. And then walk the hands back up. And let's take that left hand away from the left hip, right arm up and over, so just dropping that underneath shoulder down. And you could stay up on the hand. If you've got the space, come down to the forearm. You really try to press that uh, right sitting bone down. Eyes can look up and come up a little bit. Try to lengthen out through both sides of the waist. If it's comfortable in the neck, eyes looking up. Head turns back to center and let the body stay where it is. Let the head relax, reach that right hand away. Imagine someone's pulling you up so the head trails behind a little bit as you come back up and let's swap the legs around. So we're gonna take that left leg in front and take an inhale, lengthen up and then exhale, walking your hands forward. As you inhale, think about that sternum and the torso growing. As you exhale, you might even extend a little bit further. Walk the hands halfway up if they're not already there. Walk the hands over to the right hand side. We're gonna take an inhale to lengthen over that right knee and then start to walk the hands forward once again. Pressing down through that left sitting bone. And opening up that right side of the body a little bit more. You're still trying to lengthen out through both sides of the waist. And then let's walk the hands around to the center, extending them forward one last time. And then walking the hands back upright, taking that right hand away from the right hip, left arm up and over, and option to drop down onto that forearm if that feels good. Keep pressing down through that left sitting bone, shoulders relaxed, maybe eyes looking up. And 
and turn the head to look back to centre. You just want to keep the torso where it is. It's going to bring that top arm down. Let the head relax. Imagine someone's pulling up, pulling you up with the left hand, head trails behind and then coming back up to centre. Let's open the legs out into Upavishta Konasana, your wide legged position. You can bring the legs in as close as they need to. So don't feel like you have to go really wide. Flex through the feet, press down through the backs of the legs. Use your hands behind you. Try to lift up. Uh, out of the way so you're bringing the pelvis slightly forward take an inhale as you exhale bring those hands forward and maybe it's going to come a little bit further forward but feel absolutely free to just keep them back behind you and stay upright you might be able to come down to your forearms or even extend a little bit further away just do what feels good for your body try to make sure that the toes and the knees continue to point up towards the ceiling so not rolling inwards or backwards with the with the legs And starting to walk the hands back up. And we're going to take the left hand, slide it down the leg and coming up and over with that right arm. Big side stretch. We're just going to move through here. Take an inhale, come back up. The right hand slides down the leg, left arm up and over. And again, inhale, come up through center. Left hand slides down. Inhale through center. Right hand slides down. Left arm up and over. And then inhale, coming back up through center. Use your hands behind the legs, just bring them back in and then turn to the front of your mat and lie down onto the back. And sliding all the way down, take the feet out as wide as the mat and let the knees drop in, arms a little bit away from the body. Just focusing your attention on the back of the pelvis, as you inhale, imagine that space spreading, just allowing it to become heavy. And then open the eyes, bring the feet in so they're hip distance apart and cross that right leg over the left. Just lift the hips up slightly over to the right hand side. You might be able to hook your right foot behind that left thigh. And we're gonna drop the knees over to the left Extend that right arm open on the diagonal, eyes turning slightly to the right. Allowing that right shoulder blade to be heavy, legs heavy. And then inhale the legs back through center, uncross the legs, hips back to the middle, cross that left leg over and hips slightly over to the left, maybe wrapping that left foot underneath the right calf, dropping the knees over to the right. Left arm extending out of the diagonal, turning the head to the left, still allowing that left shoulder blade to drop down So allow the face to be soft and closing the eyes if that feels good. And then let's bring the legs back through the middle, uncross the legs hips back to the center. And just to finish off and even out the hips, let's bring the knees in and we're taking our, ha our happy baby here, holding the outside edges of the feet. And if that's not possible, you might hold behind the thighs or onto the calves. Try to press down through the backs of uh, the back of the pelvis. Squeeze the knees in. Take one more inhale and then exhale, a little squeeze in. And then let's release that all the way long. Letting the feet fall away from one another, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. 
closing down the eyes. Just take a few deep, full breaths. It's completely surrendering the weight of the body. Coming to complete rest. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.